Oh. Hi guys, um, there I was at uh, the East Midlands Music Shop with my friend Dan Smith and uh, who should walk in? None other than John Hudson. Come a bit closer. I've, I've been, I've had a shower. And what's really interesting you really, is, you sure you've had a some time ago, John got in touch with me and he said he had a solo to play and all he needed was a double A. Well, every trumpet player does, do not they? So what he decided to do was have a Stratus embouchure system. But because of all the upsets in the world with metal prices and stuff, I decided to bring one that was affordable and more accessible to probably a younger market or even people that couldn't afford the, uh, the, 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 the price of the Stratus embouchure system. And, and John, what I'm gonna to say to you is, what do you think of the new Stratus Performer? Well, it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, the bit I like really about it is that you're going to make it even more affordable to every brass player that really should have one, that all needs one, or a teacher that should use them. Um, at whatever price you got, I don't know you're going to charge for these. Seventy nine ninety nine is the first batch price. Well, that's a huge cut on what, on what you sell on the, on the metal that you, that, you, that you sell. A third of the yeah. yeah. I just you know I mean. I put this up, I put my, to, I'll be honest with Marcus, I put mine in the drawer for a few months and then my playing wasn't great. So I pulled the Stratus out and for the last two days I've been using the Stratos just to sort my chops out. Now, the, the thing with the Stratus, you really do need to know how to use these things. And so I think to some people they can be quite complicated, but obviously there's a guy here who can actually tell you everything and then tell how to use this Stratos. Now I use it quite simply just to recenter and refocus my on my shelf. When I've been doing too much playing or too many or too much high playing, I, I, I come back to this machine and it really does fix me. I, I see it as a fixer. It fixes my chops. It gets me back into using less pressure. That's what I use it for. I, I play very straight in because of my jaw formation, my teeth formation. But the thing is with this, it just helps me to refocus and get the pressure off my chops and let my lips recover and, and actually and actually work like I want them to work. It's, I, it's, it's such a wonderful bit of kit. And I, I, I feel it, and I'm, without getting on my orange box, and, and, and by the way, this is only my opinion. And there's no, you know, it's just my opinion. There's no friendship here. No, I can't stand him, I hate him. But the thing is, <laughs> but the thing is, I think every teacher of these salts should look at this, and I think every teacher should carry one because it can help so many people. It might not help every person, but it helps. But it, I, I, as a teacher myself for 40 some years, it's got to help some people and I think it's such a good wonderful way of helping to sort people's problems out. Thanks John. Yeah, one, of, one of the phrases I use is cushion the blow. Yeah. You know about the boxing yeah. match yeah. going yeah. in with yeah. one hand behind your back being bashed yeah. on the... Yeah. How do you follow that up? Do you think it is a, a, a bit of a punch on the mouth playing? Oh crack it. Well, talking for someone who, who could write a book on bad lips and I could write a book on bad lips. And, and this is for the people who suffer and who struggle who, for whatever reason, whether it's bad homages or it's just gonna be too much of the wrong kind of playing or too hard playing. Um, this helps me to refocus and just get the left arm off my face. Um, and we all do that. Every, every player in the world does this to varying degrees. So, um, but this for me personally, I use it for myself to help focus my chops and I try and I do use it with students that I teach, even young students, just, to, just so they can feel what it's like to actually play with a little bit less pressure. John, I've called it Stratus Performer. Mm. I didn't want it to sound like early entry or the beginning. Mm. I, I want to make it feel as though it's going to find the performer in you. Do you think that's the case with younger players well the, the thing is as, as, a, as a teacher and i go into primary schools and, and 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 we've got the most important job in the world to make sure the children that you, that you, that you started whether, whether it be on tuba or whether it be on concert and anything in between is that you've got to get set them up right and what this can do and i've done this in, in my school at the little primary school only this week is to actually with especially with the small mouthpiece kids is to make them so the mouthpiece is sitting right that's if the mouthpiece suits them in the first place of course but what i do this this sets them up and actually it centers and it's it's a great way of setting the kids up to start with john thanks very much i really think as well with the young people they're putting too much pressure on their teeth they're yep. causing loose teeth and they're causing pain yeah and what does every teacher in the world say to the child just press on a little bit harder for that high note well my that... worst one is smile <laughs> yeah that kills yeah, me yeah, yeah. Or, or squeeze all these things instead of actually 
letting the lips yeah, vibrate. Yeah, and blow. Well, thanks very much. This is John Hudson. Um, I'm Marcus Reynolds, the Ombusher guy. And uh, thanks very much, John. And thanks for all your support oh, over the years. And pleasure, continued yeah. top playing. Oh, thank you very much. Great bit of kit, guys. Thank you. Bye.